You can tell the Lord what to do. Come and save your children here. Come and save your children here, Lord. Your sons and daughters. The ones that are hurt. The ones that are lost. You said you seek and save those who are lost. You said draw near unto God and God will draw near unto you. You say lay your hands on the sick. Where are they? And they will recover. Who's going to come over in here and get healed? My gosh. We're going to get one person healed and it's going to be on. You ain't seen nothing yet. We've already been raising the dead for 13 years. How come nobody's coming over here? She's a woman. Yeah, this woman's going to set you free, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. A man couldn't do it. He's up to his old ways. He's trying to chase flesh. This woman ain't chasing nothing but Jesus. That's the truth. The Lord's been trying to raise up people. They all just go away. I remember there was this woman. I was walking um, in Daytona Beach and there was this woman who ended up on the street corner. And, and she was like, pray with me, pray with me. And she goes, you know, I stopped doing drugs. I got this nice place. Everything was going great. I got a new job, got a new place. And she said, I went back. Don't ever go back. I said, why did you go back? She said, oh, oh, the devil told me I could do, I could shoot something in my veins and I won't get addicted anymore. He's a liar. Who believes it? My gosh. She believed that liar. You believe that? Just like you all, falling for it, hook, line, and sinker. Not standing up for yourselves. My gosh, you're better than a dope needle, honey. You're better, better than that bottle in your hand. You can't get enough drinks to erase your mind. I got Jesus Christ. He'll delete it all in less than a millisecond. Get over here. What are you waiting on? My God. Waiting on some miracle. My God, we got the King of Kings over here. We got the one true God. We got his name that's above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee's going to bow to him. We got your answer. He's your answer. You know, you're... Your ways aren't working out. The Lord's getting to the heart of the matter. The things that you're doing, it's leading you to destruction. And he's weeping over you. He's crying. He is. And when you start hearing the Lord cry, my gosh, I don't care. What happens to me? You don't understand. This, you don't understand. That's a problem. They need to op open up their eyes to their understanding, Lord. You know, the Lord says that if you need wisdom, ask for it. He'll give it to you. 
Give us wisdom, Lord. We need it. You don't understand that you're, you're God's favorite one. You're the only one that he loves and adores. And he's weeping because he's looking down at you saying, my gosh, I put so many gifts inside of you. You're my treasure. You're my jewel. You're my greatest commodity. My gosh, you got it going on. And he's, and he's weeping. He's weeping. And he's crying. And he's looking and he's saying, I just don't understand why everybody's serving the God I destroy. Why are they falling away? Why? Why don't they want love? Why do they like hate more than love? Why do they want to be beaten up and not be loved? I don't understand. Why do they want to be called that they're nobody when they're my favorite one? I don't understand. What's going on here? And he looks down. And he says, will anybody go for me? Will anybody say something? Tell my children I love them and I'm not mad at them? That I've come to set them free? I've come to transform them? I've come to lift them up? I've come to heal them? I've come to comfort them? I've come to give them everything they ever need? And then some? I've come to restore to them all the years the enemy stole from them? I'm here to love you. You know, when I started preaching, in 2012, the Lord had me carry, I was carrying a five foot cross on the streets and praying with people. But he put me out where people are like gunning down people, you know? They're slinging dope here, prostituting, you know? Shooting up dope everywhere, smoking crack right here, drinking at the corner store. The Lord just put me out there. He didn't tell me, you're going to do step one, two, and three. No, he didn't tell me what to do. My gosh, I said, help me, Jesus. My gosh, I said, help me, Jesus, over 50 times a day. I thought I was going to be gunned down. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> he won't tell you to do that. Maybe not. You see, we all have a purpose. Mine's to get down in the deepest, darkest places. Maybe. Anyway, I just keep saying, help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. That works. Three words. Help me, Jesus. When you don't know what else to say, help me, Jesus. 
My gosh, he helped me, I'll tell you. He got, you know what he told me? There were, there were two times specifically, okay, that the Lord warned me. He warned me. He said, listen, you better get across that street because there was a guy going to come and he was going to hit me with a, um, with a skateboard. The Lord said, you better get across that street quick. And he was telling me what was going to happen if I didn't, like, get to running across that street. So, yeah. And then there was another time. He said... He said, this guy just beat up his wife. He's smoking crack. He's high on crack. He's about to come. Um, he's about to be on this street corner. You better get across that street real quick. This is in Daytona Beach. Never a dull moment. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I crossed the street. And there he was, high on crack. The Lord's going to save you from where you're at. He is. He's going to take you out because he loves you. He's not going to leave you where you're at. You're not supposed to be where you're at. Did you hear that? You're supposed to be loved and adored. Come here, I'll hold you. Come here. I'll hold you. I'm going to set you free today. That's all. That's all you want is love. It is. It is. That's all I wanted. I wanted love. And everybody has a something inside of them. And you're trying to fill it with the world. And you're coming up dry every day. Because that place inside of you can only be filled with Jesus. Your Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. inside of you and he fills that empty spot that you're trying to fill up you're trying to fill it up with women and men you're trying to fill it up with this that and the other you're trying to steal kill and to destroy and it's not working out well for you I'm getting you out today I'm able to get you out I got out my big boy pants. My gosh. I'm ready for a battle. We're already in one. I don't care. I'm, I've been through the fire to get to his sons and daughters. I'm going through the fire to get to you. Man, we got to decide. We got to decide what life is really about. It's all about you. And when, when the Lord fills you, you won't, you won't be looking over here, over there. You won't. You'll know that nothing in man is good. That's what you're going to find out. You're gonna find out that the world can't give you what the Lord can give you. No one can tell you who you are except the one who made you. And he made you altogether beautiful, altogether lovely. You're looking good. He made you handsome, strong, and bold as a lion. He made you strong and courageous. Be of great courage. He 
it's just, you've just fallen because you don't know who you are. That's the only reason why you're where you're at. That's okay. The Lord can do everything for you in less than a millisecond. Just call on him. Jesus says, call on my name. You'll be saved. You know, you just think that you're not going to have a good time with Jesus. My gosh, I've had the best time of my life. If, if Jesus, if Jesus didn't have everything I needed, I wouldn't serve him. If he wasn't going to heal the sick, cast out devils, I'm not going to serve a God that's not going to do what I ask him to do. I mean, that would be foolish. I mean, I can really tell you that he's been faithful and true to me. He says something, he does it. I was lied to. Somebody would say something and never do it. I finally found the king of glory. And he actually listens to me and wants to listen and hear me. Never had anybody like that before. Someone who actually loves me and cares about me all the time never gets tired of me. I mean, you'll get tired of me, but Jesus won't. You see? You got it all wrong. You're all trying to get something, and it's all nothing. And Jesus said in his word, Let's read it. Let's read what the Lord says. We're going to read John 15. And every branch that bears fruit, he cuts it back. That it may bring forth more fruit. Now you are clean through the word which I've spoken unto you. Abide in me. See? This is the key right here. Abide in him. And I in you. So you abide in him and he abides in you. As the branch, you're his branches. And it says right here, for the branch cannot bear fruit of itself. You can't bear fruit. No more can you except you abide in me. Jesus said you, you have to abide in me. See, this is learning here. These are more than words. It becomes our flesh and bone. He writes it inside of us. It's more than just a book. It's not like, it's more than all this. Now y'all think, y'all been taught wrong. Throw out your teachings. It didn't help you. vine you are the branches he that abides in me and I in him the same brings forth much fruit did you hear that for without me you can do nothing what did that just say this is Jesus talking John chapter 15. 
Verse 5. I am the vine. Read it again so you get it. Sometimes you have to keep reading it till you understand it. Open up their eyes, Lord. Give them wisdom, Lord. Help us, Lord. We need help. He's listening to that prayer. He likes it when you give up. Tell him you can't do it yourself. He knows it. He's ready for you to give up on yourself. Abide in me and I in you, as a branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. I am the vine. You're the branches. You see? You're part of him. You're part of him. That's why he's not giving up on you. That's why he'll never give up on you. He that abides in me and I in him, the same, the same brings forth much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. You know what? I found that's true. I could do nothing without Jesus. I couldn't have gotten out of hell without him. I could have gotten set free without him. I could have gotten healed without him. I couldn't have gotten fixed without him. I couldn't have been transformed without him. I couldn't have been healed without him. I couldn't have been loved without him. I couldn't have nothing. I wouldn't be dead. I would. It's no longer I live, but it's Christ who lives in me. In this life that I live, it's for him, because I'm bought with a price. I'm bought with his blood. He went all the way to that cross for me. I got time to preach. He took the nails for me, so I didn't have to take the nails. I got time. I got time for you today. I got time. Jesus went around doing good. Healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Who's oppressed of the devil? Where is he? You know, you're going to be set free if you get over here. We got a harvest. It's really plenty. That's all right. It's going to happen one day. I hope soon. I mean, real soon, like now. <laughs> if a man abides not in me, he's cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them. And they cast them into the fire and they're burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask what you will and it will be done unto you. I want America healed and saved. Ask him. I want every man, woman, and child to be born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. Land of the free. I want freedom. I want love to be our banner over us. I want love to come back. Come back, love. We missed you. We need you. Come on, love. We need you. Get over here. He's like, I've been here all along. I'm patient. Maybe I need to be more patient. 
Don't ever ask the Lord that. <laughs> Don't ask the Lord for patience. I mean, when you're with him, you may need it now. <laughs> Just kidding. You can ask anything in the Lord. And he'll give it to you when he sees your heart. You know, prayers that will answer. He's going to answer the ones. Lord, I need you. I can't do it my way anymore. I want to know who you are. And he comes like a knight in shining armor. Did anybody want a knight in shining armor? I did. I wanted a knight in shining armor to save me. And he came. Yay! Thank you, Lord. See? He never left me nor forsook me. He didn't save me from, from, well, I mean, he saved me from a lot of things. He's going to save you. But you know what? I'm glad. I'm glad I went through all that I went through. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't have a heart. If, if everything was great and wonderful, I wouldn't love you. If I had everything and I was dry bones, what could I give you? Nothing. If I gained the whole world and lost my soul, what would you have? Nothing. my father glorified don't you know your father loves you don't you know that he's not mad at you my gosh he's never he's never been mad at you he's never been angry with you he loves you all the time 24 7 he, he does you may not think so because you've never had a father like this you need to meet your father. When you meet him, you won't want anything else. You want to know him. You want to know how he, how he is like that. You ask him questions and he'll answer you. You know, I think this is great. Because I used to just pray with people and you know, give them food and pray with people. Uh, and, <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I was carrying a five foot cross on the streets and preaching. <laughs> this is funny. So I'm, you know, praying with people and everything. And uh, the Lord said, the Lord said, what are you doing? I'm thinking, um, I'm doing what you told me to do. I'm carrying your cross. I'm praying with people. I'm feeding the hungry here. And he said, he said, you're nothing. 
Yeah. That's right. <laughs> My father said you're nothing. Why did he say that? He said, he said, you're praying with people and you're giving them food. But if you don't get them born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, then they're going to leave and they aren't even going to have me. And I can't even work inside of them. If you just give them food, they're going to go away without me. What are you doing? You're doing nothing. Well, your father will tell you like it is. He won't, he won't be, he won't like, he'll tell you the truth and he sticks with it. He doesn't care what you think. He doesn't care if your feelings are going to get hurt or whatever. He wants you to do his work. So, so I started praying with everybody, getting them born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. He, well, the Lord said it's the full package deal. Full package deal. <laughs> you want to know what the full package deal is? You get them healed, transformed, born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, and in the arms of Jesus. So I just started, so, you know, I didn't like, I prayed with people and I just had them say the prayer. I didn't go like, I didn't ask them if they believed in Jesus. I just got them born again filled with them. I just did that with everybody. And then the Lord was working big time. And then all of a sudden, uh, there it was like bike week. Anybody been to Daytona Beach in Bike Week? Don't go. <laughs> anyway, um, I was passing out food and praying with people, and here comes here comes a guy to the corner, and he says, "I met you on, at Bike Week, so I thought, okay, if you met me, you're already born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, because." If you've seen me, you've seen the Father also. And that's just what he was doing. He was getting, you know, he was sowing the seed. But see, when you get them born again, they're going to go wherever they're going to go. But Jesus is going with them. You see? I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And then he can work inside of you. That's right. Anyway, I became friends with this guy because I wanted to get his, the pictures on my ministry site. So get this, you wouldn't believe it. So this is like in 2000 and this is probably 2013. So anyway, what happened was I pull up news, the news feed, right? The next day. And here's a picture. And who's in the picture? The guy that was on the corner the day before. Oh, but what happened to the guy? Oh, here's the picture. An ambulance. His motorcycle on the ground. Road rash from here all the way down. On the left side of his body. This is a picture. You know what the Lord said? The Lord said, look what happens. When you don't get them born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. Does anybody think that your father loves you? 
I think he loves you more than you really could ever imagine. My gosh, when I saw that picture, my heart, my gosh, my heart was like, I felt, I felt terrible. Here, here I am, doing what the Lord's told me to do. And I miss one person. I miss one person. And he about died. My God. I said, Lord, please let me pray with him so he can get born again and fill with the Holy Spirit. So that happened. I was able to pray with him. He ended up going back to his family. He was let off going the wrong direction. But his father had a better way for him than his own way. So, so that's how I've learned. The Lord will teach you. He'll put you out in the midst of wolves. Now have you lay hands on them and cast out all them devils. Witches aren't witches anymore. Sorcery ceases to exist. They come to nothing because he's here and if he's here he's got some work to do he's not gonna let you just do it your way I've seen too many people doing it their way there was one person I got testimony after testimony how long we got a billion years I probably wouldn't get to all of them. There was a guy that he was going to jump off the bridge. Commit suicide. Met anybody like that? He's going to jump off of the bridge. But what did the Lord say? I want you to be on that street corner. You better be preaching at 11 o'clock. Do you hear me? You better not be late. I got somebody that's going to get me there. So I was right there at 11 o'clock. I started praying with people. Here comes a guy. I didn't know that he was, you know... Here's the street corner, here's the bridge. Goes over the intercoastal, goes, goes to Daytona Beach, it goes to the ocean, right there. And I prayed with him. Got him born again, filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus can do nothing. You can do nothing without him. Well, I didn't know he was going to jump off of that bridge. This is really funny, though. I mean, it's not funny, but well, the way that things happen, it kind of is. <laughs> he was going to jump off the bridge, but he looked down. <laughs> he looked down, and there was a bus pass, a free bus pass. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Don't get your ticket out of there, baby. <laughs> he took the bus pass because it was free, you know. He ended up walking down the bridge and using the bus pass. 
anyway, like, I don't know how long ago, but he came over to me and he told me his testimony. He said I was going to commit suicide. I was going to jump off of that bridge. But you were right there. My God! He's here! Do you understand? I wasn't there. He's here. I'm not here. He's here. My God, he's using a, donk a donkey jawbone. He used anything that moves. Is anybody moving? So, he didn't commit suicide and he was telling me his testimony about how great, how great his life was. Because he knew who he was. And the Lord started working in him. He started breaking that heart up, giving him a better mind. He'll give you the spirit of love, power, and of a sound mind. When I think about how much he loves us, how he never gives up on us, and he's so patient, he'll let us do whatever we want, even though we aren't supposed to be doing it. He saves us from ourselves when we're going the wrong way. But there's a time. There's an appointed time of the Lord. And he says, this is it. This is the time. You can't go on anymore. You've come too far. You've got to call on the name of Jesus. You must be born again. You must be filled with my Holy Spirit. So you can, so you can know who you are. And when you know who you are, more than it's more than words can even say when you know how much he loves you you'll want to give everything away you'll leave everybody everything who cares my god you're more important You're more important than anything. Anything? I, I've never lost anything. And I've lost it all. But you don't understand. When you get Jesus, you don't lose anything. You know what? Because he gains you. And you come to know him. And that's more than, that's more than any treasure. That's more than rubies, emeralds, and diamonds. You're greater than any precious stone, any jewel, any thing that anyone could ever offer. You far surpass them all. It's in you that I love. It's in you that I lay down my life for. Everything's gonna go away, but you'll never go away. I want you with me. I want, I want you to be loved by me. And I can hold you.
and you'll hear people say, I'm finally loved. I didn't think anybody loved me. Yeah. Except the one who really matters. Except the only one who can get you out. The only one who never walks away from you. The only one who doesn't look at anything you've done. He just loves you. He just holds you. He treats you like you're his very best one. He gives you the best table. He pulls out your chair. When, he, when you're sitting at his table, he's such a gentleman. He pulls out his chair for you. And you'll sit down and he'll put a napkin on your lap. And he'll feed you. Hello. Have a great day. God bless you. Do you have to walk a long way? Is that from Publix? Yeah. Wow. I don't drive. Ah. Never. Wow. Wow, wow. I'm going to sing a song to you. Come, come away with me. Come, come away with me. The Lord's going to sing you a song. 